and welcome to the beautiful Hocking Hills in southeastern Ohio. My name is Pat Quackenbush. I'm a naturalist here at the park, and I'd like to welcome you to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources Fall Color Forecast. Now this year, we suspect things to be just a little bit different. We've had a lot of rain this year, which has really affected what's going on in the forest. Uh, we should have a, a, a wetter season, obviously, so we're going to have a little bit of lingering with these warm temperatures to later in the fall. Uh, but we do expect a beautiful color season with all the wet and the moisture that's going on out there. Now, depending on where you are in Ohio, that can vary from one end of the state to the other. This year we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be visiting week after week with a different naturalist in a different part of the state. We're going to start in the north, which will begin its fall color change somewhere around the second to the middle of October, second week to the middle of October, then quickly followed the following week by central Ohio, and then towards the end of October, maybe even to the beginning of November here in Southern Ohio. But each week we'll be visiting with a new naturalist so you can get an up close and personal view of what's going on in that area. All right, now this year, it's gonna be kind of a double fall season. It typically will be because it's not uncommon at all for trees to begin to lose their leaves at the end of August into September, but you're gonna see even more of that. Thanks to all the hurricane rains and the warmer temperatures, things are really gonna kind of have a double season. We'll have a small drop here, and then you're gonna have the main color change in October. Let's talk about what's going on in the trees just a little bit. A lot of people are very curious in what brings on the fall colors, etc. There's a lot of things that are going on in the trees. Of course, they have to change their color and drop their leaves because they're getting prepared for the winter. Leaves become a liability in the frozen December and January months here in Ohio, so trees have to lose those leaves. They begin now as the days begin to shorten, the weather cools just a little bit, that signals the trees that it's time to start to change. They remove things such as chlorophyll out of the leaves, etc., which leaves behind the bright colored pigments such as keratoids, the orange and yellows, and anthocyanins, the, the reds and the purple colors. After they finish completely changing, they'll remove those color pigments, the leaf will turn brown, and it will drop off. Now you may see some trees in a whole grove that look a little different than the other. Some trees can actually experience a, a stress due to insects or fungus or bacterial infection, and they're going to be the ones that stand out totally different from any other tree. If you have one of those in your yard, you can get a hold of a local arborist, they can come out and help you with that. Our fall color website is full of great information on lots of things you can do over the next couple of months, including great places to stay the night. Make sure you use the hashtags OhioFall18 and FollowDaysOhio when posting your photos to social media. Check out our State Parks Photo Contest as well to win some great prizes, OhioStateParksPhotoContest.com. Don't forget to check out Tourism Ohio's website for great info on events and other activities to do and enjoy your fall days here in Ohio. Make sure and check out OhioDNR.com for your fall forecast. Visit with our naturalists each week. Make sure you make your plans early so you can get out and enjoy our state parks and our areas in Ohio. Hope to see you on the trails.